Hello. As you know, there is a wild card, and I want you to be my wild card, Stevie. That's, that's rubbish, isn't it? I know, I know. He's still standing better than he ever did was. That's it. Anyway, well, like he's kind of, survivor. He is still standing, but not in the show. Um, yeah. Stevie Ritchie's the latest act to be voted off the X Factor. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hello. Hey. Oh, you, right. What's your like pose like? I'll say that. And you like ding? Do it again, ready? Yeah. Ding. That's the way. <laughs> With the shiny That's suit. me. I love it. <laughs> How are you feeling, absolutely honestly? Honestly, I mean, I am, I'm a, obviously, we're all gutted. I mean, only young if you're just interviewed and all that. I mean, we're all gutted, obviously, that, you know, we, we've, we've come so far, but so near. Um, but I am really happy with how I've gone out, how it's all ended. I ended on a really nice number, a big note, and I've come this far, final six, on tour. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy. The public got me, uh, behind me, and I'm so happy for the other five that are still left in, you know, I couldn't be more happier. But you didn't get through to begin with, so this must be a complete bonus. Oh my God, yeah. I mean, seriously, after like Judge Zouzas and Simon said no, he didn't want to do that, by the way. But after Simon said no, I thought, that's it. Go back to reality, back on the phones. And literally, I was prepared to just go, okay, forget it now, Steve. You've had your bit of fame, you know, no fortune, but fame. And I thought, great. And then you know, I get these calls saying, can you come meet up and all that? I'm like, Okay, yeah, well, I will do, you know, it's not a problem. And then uh, I went to this hotel, uh, I was waiting there to say goodbyes to everyone, then Cheryl, the most stunning woman you ever met in your life, has just caught through the door, and you're like, who the heck is that? And then, you know, she's just like, wow, wowzers. And then she's, wowzers in my trousers, literally. And then she's, <laughs> seriously, and she sat next to me, and then she said, I'm oh, wild card. It was just like, are you for real? You know, seriously? It was immense, it was so nice, I couldn't get over it. And then, I, you know, of course, I'm week seven of live shows, of 10. Yay! Come on. And um, on the subject of Cheryl, can you give me a little accent? Oh, I'll do my best. Um, here we go, I'm not really good at accents, so you can tell because I'm a cockney. Hello. As you know, there is a wild card, and I want you to be my wild card, Stevie. That's, that's rubbish, isn't it? I know, I know. <laughs> She's got that sweet voice, Cheryl. I think you know, you know, why I man, and all that, you know. Oh, you better go back bike a grown man. I don't know, I, I can't um, do it. And um, we've got to do the, the other judges now. So, Mel B. Is this a joke? I mean, seriously, is this a joke? I mean, what the hell was that? I mean, the better singers than you, Stevie. I have to say, so you, I don't know. Is there Mel B from Edinburgh? I hope not. No, I, I know. I told you I'm crap at accents, Lucy. You know what I mean? I love them, by the way. I love Marilyn and Cheryl. Okay, Louis Walsh. He's easy. Come on. You can okay, do this. Right, I'll do my best. Um, okay, top of the. No, yes, I, and yes, we're going to get you on Saturday Night TV. Yes, yes, yes. New Murphy, we will think you're very, very nice indeed. Yes, Stevie, you got the X Factor. We think you'll be in the final. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know. <laughs> and ending it on your BFF, come on. Best friend, Simon. Well, you know what, Stevie? Um, I thought that was actually a very good performance by you. You know, does this thing with the hand, doesn't he? Like that, you know. So, yeah, you know what? You're my hero. You're very good at him. Oh, I'm all right. I'm not great. Are you really BFFs in real life? Yeah, we are. Do you know what? Generally, away from the cameras and stuff, we are friends, you know. Do you emoji each other on WhatsApp and stuff? No, do you know what? We follow each other on Twitter and all that, Simon. I've got his PA's number. Obviously, you know, um, everything goes through his PA. So, uh, I mean, I said to him last night, I want to stay in touch with you, Simon. And I think he will stay in touch with me. I generally hope he does. I'm sure he will because he's... Absolutely lovely guy. We are friends, you know, and uh, he's been a great mentor to me. A proper world up in his dress room last night. Oh, call on the cob and scampy take two, please. Absolutely. I was thinking about taking him to Colchester, actually, on a night out and having a drink, you know? I think he'd be good after a Jaeger bomb. Yeah, I think I'd love to see the man drunk. Oh, it'd be hilarious. I'll make sure I'll take videos and snaps and all sorts, but I love him. Absolutely genuine geezer, honestly. I love it. Love him. He's a geezer. He's a proper man. Right, I've got man. some um, fan questions for you because they Ooh. loved you. Oh, really? Stevie was trending last night. You're oh, really? so famous. Okay, oh. so Becky says, if Simon wasn't your mentor, who would you want to be? Who would it want to be? I would say, well, I have to go with Cheryl because she brought me back. But I do love Mel as well, you know. I and love they're both fit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're stunning. Look at them, like, you know, tongue out sort of thing. <laughs> Not tongue wagging, tongue out. Um, <laughs> I'll 
get in trouble or anything like that. Uh, yeah, I'll probably say Cheryl because she brought me back. Okay, um, Emma wants to know if you were a gladiator from the 19s TV show, who would you be? Ooh, I would say I like Cobra. Remember Cobra? Yeah, with the karate and all, all that, because he weren't too big, he was just athletic and everything, so Cobra. Not a secret reason why you're Cobra. No, well, not down there in the trousers department anyway. Don't get me wrong, I'm not bloody snakes and all that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Ryan wants to know, his Christmas um, a Christmas party, office Christmas party, sorry, is th um, circus theme this year, which offers a world of opportunities for costumes. What should he go as? Ooh, uh, I would go possibly um, wearing probably next to nothing. You know, literally bare all apart from, you know, just keep some gold pants on or something like that and have slick back hair with makeup on and everything. You know what I mean? I think that'll work. Yeah, nice one. That, you hear that, Ryan? Good. And uh, with the, the, your gold outfit and you had honey everywhere, um, how long did it take you to get off it, by the way? Sorry, babe. How do you... <laughs> See you later. <laughs> How long did it take to get the, the honey off your chest? Oh, do you know what? It's, this will surprise you, Lucy. I come off stage literally as I'd done my performance, and it was like a rush. I'm swore there. I'm so sorry. Uh, there was like a rush to get me literally made up. I had all the honey. Sh I literally showered off, basically. Hair washed like that, done up, makeup done within minutes. And the team all come together and they got me ready for the, you know, the first elimination. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, wow, how do you do that? And it was like such touch and go, a bit like my sex life, touch and go. So um, it was quite immense like that. And on the subject of your sex life, come on, what are those rumours about Sarah Jane? What is going on? Do you know what? There's so much. It's really flattering to know that the world loves knows about my love life. Uh, but nothing's happened to me in SJ. I never slept with her, I never went back to a hotel. I only bloody wish I did, because I wouldn't be bloody hiding it. I'm keeping it out there in the paper. So nothing happened. We are friends. I love SJ so much, and she's one of my favourite ever women I've ever met in my life. So. so what's the move next with ladies then? Well, I'm single, ready to mingle, and my fingers ready to tingle. So who knows what will, <laughs> what will happen. Message into the camera for the ladies that are single. Well, you know, um, I'm single and ready to mingle, and uh, something else is ready to pringle. But anyway, no, I won't say that word. I am, <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, are you looking for love, Elton John? No, I don't know. But anyway, I'm single, so get in touch via Twitter and uh, WhatsApp, although you ain't got my number, and Facebook. Please do. That'd be awesome. Thanks, Stevie. Thank you very much.